But then after that, then you came to the States. And it's just interesting because I, I feel we all kind of have this pattern in life. I know I did with my own brother where when you're, when you're growing, you kind of drift away. But if you're close, life always finds a way of bringing you back together. What is, what is, what does your, what do your brothers mean to you? It's like, it's like each brother is a different character, is a different personality. Like example, I'm very close to my brother, Harja. Harja relationship we have is very weird. Like example, he's, I remember one time he stayed in my apartment with me. We barely talk. You know what I mean? But example, sometimes I come to the house, I open his room, I see he's there sleeping. I go to my room, I sleep like an angel. He sometimes almost like when I come to the house, I open, he's not there. I wake up like two or three times during the night because he's not there. It's almost like, yeah. Uh, I gotta add something into that. At one time we did the brother's camp. And that was one way that we found to be able to see each other on the mat at least once a year. And we finished having lunch in the place and uh, the car was parking next to an ice cream store. And he said, no, just a moment, I'm gonna get our ice cream. He said, man, we eat a lot in ice cream. He goes there, he comes back with two ice cream, one in each hand. Then we're inside the car waiting for him. He's like, boy, that guy's gonna eat two ice cream after. As soon as he's walking into the car, he goes like, oh, Roger, that's yours. <laughs> Then we go like, what are, What about us? He said, no, I know Roger's what he likes, the flavors and everything. I don't know what you guys like. No, but it's interesting because, you know, I've had many talks with your brother and I know what, what his brothers mean to him. I mean, part of our discussion, I don't really know any of you very well other than cord being cordial, but I always ask and he always oh, has an yeah. answer. You yeah. know, you guys, e even though you came together and then, the world of jujitsu in your lives have everyone's kind of moved on to different areas, yes. but you always find a way of Yeah, I think jujitsu is something we have in common. It does help us to to come together to talk and stuff. We not work together, but we always support each other in, yeah. in many ways. Like example, each brother is amazing. Example the relationship I have with Carlos, I never raised my voice to Carlos. I never raised my hand. I never have one fight with Carlos in my whole life. Carlos was always like a father figure, brother figure. He basically, the respect I have my older brother is, is or the oldest one, is, is amazing. He's the most uh, gentle. He take his shirt to give to you. Whatever I need, he, what you need, he, I'm here for you and stuff. He always been like that. Jean-Jacques for me was a, a younger brother who little by little got my respect. I mean, the, the reason Jean-Jacques got my respect because Jean-Jacques... I want to hear he, that. Um, that <laughs> he have uh, a problem in his hand. He grew up without uh, four fingers. And he this never stopped him. And little by little, he before even jiu-jitsu, he was, everything he do, he little by little comes super successful. Whatever he do, his ability was beyond normal. I remember he played soccer, phenomenal soccer player. It's like, God damn, this kid can play soccer. And after this, he go play hockey. And he come a phenomenal hockey player, national level. I said, you know what I mean? It's not like he, I push him, he come to jiu-jitsu, and he start being a super competitor. You know what I mean? Jean Jacques have this ability who, I remember Carlos Grace explaining, like, oh, Higa, you learning jiu-jitsu, you have to do you hundred times the techniques in you you're very consistent. That's why your jiu is good because you you put your time on the mat to get Jean Jacques have this thing you teach him one time, he start doing the techniques right away. He, this was his ability who is very rare to find in athletes. Because a lot of athletes you is a different process of learning. He basically like it's very rare you find an athlete who you teach the techniques, he go in the competition, he start doing. And you say, you didn't go to the process of repetition yeah. and doing this hard work. You go and do right away. And that was some ability he have. He he start get the respect of myself and my cousins because he start winning competition. We, we never have a relationship between me and my brothers like 
to talk too much, what I'm going to do, this and that. They don't care. I don't care. It's about action. You do it, okay, I believe you. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's just Jack got, that's the kind of relationship I come, his older brother who come a big fan of his actions. Uh, my relationship with my youngest brother, he was like the little guy I protect all the time, everywhere I go, I bring it. He was, he loved me. He looked up to, oh, my big brother is a champion. You know what I mean? He looked up yeah, like, yeah, for even sure. his relationship I have for him still today is like this. Like he look up to me, whatever, do what you doing? This and that. I said, oh, I try to get in the movie. He try to get in the movies. It's almost like he, uh, he try imitate you yeah. in some level. Even his kids have this unique relationship with his kids too, like that. Because the father transferred he that. Get, he gets their... the favorite uncle of all the kids. <laughs> yeah. The favorite uncle, all the kids. My kids, anyone, kids in the family, he's their favorite uncle. But, but Jean-Jacques, you have so much respect for the brother because he's... Is a workaholic. I never seen a guy who works so hard in everything he do. It is uh, it's a good motivation for the brothers, because whatever he do, he do a hundred ten percent. And this is kind of what uh, motivate a lot of the other brothers, because you say, "Poor Jean Jacques accomplished this. Let's do too." Jean Jacques did this. Let's do too. And this is what is nice about the relationship. Because each of the brothers drive by each other. You know what I mean? In case, uh, uh, I always was like that. I go to competition. Sambo, I try to bring the brothers to compete Sambo. It's pretty soon Jean-Jacques, John, we start traveling, beating everybody in some competing judo, Sambo, judo, whatever we do, we try to push each other. We follow each other in some way. You know what I mean? It's a good brothers. I'm very happy to have it's, this amazing group of guys each brother is amazing I, guy i sure, have a, sure. a a pretty easy question to you and probably i'm gonna make some compliments um according to how you answered that and i asked that to everyone and i did ask you before what is the first 